Hello, friends, and welcome to Gen Con Spring Showcase. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for joining us today. I'm here with my co-host, my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our daughter, Lauren. Hello. And we are so thrilled to be here showing off one of Haba's newest games. This is The Key Sabotage at Lucky Llama Land, and I'm going to show you all exactly what it looks like on the table. Here we go. Look at that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like <clears throat> a crazy mix of cards, and there is a method to the madness. We're going to show y'all in just a second. I uh, want to let you know that this game, it's going to be available March 14th, so in a couple of weeks. Uh, retail price is $29.99, and the game is for one to four players. We're playing a three-player game. It's a competitive game, but not only is there a solo variant, but we found out that you can play it cooperatively, too, as a family, and this... We're going to play it cooperatively for y'all because I think it's the best way to show off the game and y'all can help us uh, in chat. Uh, if you can help us with the clues and try to figure out uh, who's uh, sabotaging Lucky Llama Land, please let us know. Thank you again <laughs> for joining us. Uh, the game takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a simultaneous um, deduction uh, game. And hey, Lauren, you have a pug in your lap. <laughs> I do. I was hiding. Who is that pug, Lauren? I don't my name is Bruno. <laughs> That's Bruno, our pug. He's hanging out with us today, hanging out with all of the Haba fans. Thank you, Bruno, for being with us. And thank Aww. you, Lauren, for taking care of our pug. Yeah. <laughs> Want to shout out so everyone cool. in chat. Thank you again for hanging out with us. Um, what's really cool about this, this game is a, co uh, it's a competitive deduction game, but as I said, you, could, you can play it cooperatively. We found that out. It's really fun. Uh, what you're doing is... All the cards on the table here, you'll notice each one has a bunch of different colors on them. There are different colors for different cases. We are going to be playing the yellow case today, and that's the yellow key. So on your turn, you're going to be, or in the real-time game, it's a real-time game, uh, in the cooperative game, you're going to take cards uh, one at a time, look at them, and try to deduce um, what's happening at the Llama Land. So what it is... Three crimes have been committed. There are three perpetrators that are trying to sabotage Lock Lucky Llama Land. Now, who would want to do that? Come on. Really? <laughs> What's Lucky Llama Land? Lucky Llama. Glad you asked, Michelle. Lucky Llama Land is an amusement park. And on these three days, there are three rides that have been sabotaged by the new no-gooder, uh, no-do-gooder uh, perpetrators. Um, I'm going to show you the map real quick. This is Lucky Llama Land. Look at that. Doesn't that look fun? Yes. <laughs> I was like, was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> um, and then these are the perpetrators. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Studio effects. Yeah. We have uh, Gonzo, Olivia, and Jennifer. Okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about these as we continue here. Um, the, let's see, the player boards. We each have a player board. We have a briefcase. I'm going to show you all real quick. These are player shields. So again, in the competitive game you cannot see what the other players have and what i'm going to do is show you what's exactly on the player board here uh we have the three suspects gonzo olivia and jennifer we have the three crimes one two and three and the days of the crimes may 5th may 6th and may 8th you'll notice on the top row um for each day and each crime you're going to have the suspects the tools that they use to sabotage the ride and then the rides themselves so through a process of elimination, using the clues on the, um, the cards, we're going to cross out <clears throat> um, who wasn't uh, where on what date and so forth. So eventually you're going to come up with one person, one tool, and one ride per day. And as you do that, we are going to try to solve the case. Um, for each line there, you're going to see the people, the perpetrators, and then the, uh, the tools, and then the... Um, rides and each one has a unique number what you do with the number is that's going to be generate a three number code we're going to try to find the code on the answer board which i'll bring out later uh, at the end of the game here and we insert the key now if the key <laughs> bruno <laughs> if the key uh, matches the color on on the other side of the board then we have cracked the case and we got those perpetrators um, and they're going to get uh, what's coming to them. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me... Yeah, insert evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Y'all should see Bruno right now. Bruno's having a good time over here. Um, on the cards, you'll see the witness statements and 
lab cards. Those are two different types of cards, but they're spread out all over the board. So it's going to be up to us to uh, take the cards we feel are necessary to help us solve this crime. We are using the yellow uh, code. So on the yellow, on any card that has a yellow square, we can take that, flip it over, and show you what's on the card. Um, on the back side of the card has the colors and also the type. We either have witness statements, which will be text, and it'll say, hey, so-and-so was here on this day or whatever. And then lab cards. Those are going to have clues that we're going to use with other parts of the board and also our little uh, investigation booklets. So these investigation booklets have everything that we need to know, including the map, the list of perpetrators. Oh, Bruno. Hey, Bruno, be careful. And then the schedule. The schedule are the rides on um, at Llama Land and when uh, there are certain tickets that have been uh, collected by the perpetrators. We're going to find out what day they are um, were on at the park. And also the weapon, or I mean the weapons, the tools and their measurements and weight. There are going to be some clues that tell us, hey, you know, this um, person used a tool that was lighter in weight and so forth. And then, of course, our player boards. That's where we're going to be making all of our notes to solve the crimes. Yes, Bruno is ready to solve the crime. And Bruno is. I hope y'all are ready, too. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll notice we have this mirror card here. This is neat. So on, we'll talk about it when we get to it, but we're, you are going to use mirror, folks. We're going to, we're, we're totally detectives in this thing. We're, we're going to be using our sleuthing skills. Thank you again for joining us, folks. This is the key sabotage at Lucky Llama Land. Shall we get into the game, my fellow investigators? Let's do this. All Shall. right. So, uh, again, normally in the <clears throat> competitive game, we're just going real time as, you know, not as fast, but we just, we would all grab a card. But in this version, with y'all going to, you're all going to help us. Michelle, would you? Select a card, please. Yes, out of this hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so, and we're looking for yellow. Correct. Um, I'll just choose this one because it's the first one I saw. Okay, uh, so I'll show this on the board here. Um, Michelle has chosen a number three card so that we're looking at, and it's a little see-through because of the uh, green screen, um, but this says we're looking at number three on our player board, so... Day three, this is a clue for that day three, or I mean um, crime three. It's going to uh, be about um, a particular weapon. So let's turn it over. The tool weighed less than 600 grams on May 8th. Okay. So May 8th, less than... Oh, oh. What's happening here, little boy? Okay. Okay, so less than what was it? Less, less than six hundred grams. Less than six hundred. Okay, so that means it's either got to be um, the knife or the pliers. That's yeah. right. Okay. okay. And the, <clears throat> the date was May eighth. Right? May eighth, right? Okay. So on your player board, what I'm going to note is it's going. I'm just going to put a little dot. Y'all can't see it, but I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to scratch out or X out the taser. Because we know that the tool cannot be more than 600. Going back to our little factual sheet here, we see that the taser is 650. So we, we can eliminate that on May 8th. Okay. Uh, one other thing I'd like to note that you'll see there are point values on each card. There are going to be 2, 3, and 4. If it's a 2, that means it's going to be the least helpful. If it's a 4, it's a, the most helpful. However, at the end of the game, in a competitive game... Whoever has solved the crime and has the lowest number of points will win, will be the best sleuth out there. Okay, so we have that clue. Lauren, would you like to choose one now, please? Sure. Okay. Um, and folks in chat, if you have any questions, feel free to shout them out. We'll be happy to answer them. I'll go for a three right in the middle. Okay. Lauren has chosen the three. It is a witness statement. Um, it is something to do with a perpetrator and the date of the crime. And A, Olivia sabotaged before Jennifer. Okay, so Olivia has sabotaged before Jennifer. We know that Olivia cannot be on May 8th, right? Through process elimination. Mm -hmm. Because if she was May 8th, there was no other crime committed. So she has to have been either May 6th or May 5th. Okay. So that's the only thing we can eliminate, right? Is that and she didn't do it on the May. 8th. Correct. Yeah. Can't we also eliminate Jennifer from the 5th? Because Olivia has to come before Jennifer? Yes. Nice, Lauren. So cross out Jennifer on the 5th. 
Well done. I'm going to call her Jen. Jen, yeah. Okay. Jenny Gonzo. From, you think Ollie. it was Jenny from the block? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that's the type of entertainment you get all day today. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why don't I go? Um, I'm going to select. Um, hmm. Where do we put the cards that we used? Uh, the clues, I've just put them on the side here. Oh, okay. But we could put them on. The oh, table that's here. okay. I was just wondering if they got thrown back into gotcha. the mix because. Yeah. That would not be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a stab at... So this is going to be a four clue. So that's going to give us the most information. Uh, this is a lab card. We're going to be looking at a snapshot. It's going to be talk about a web, or um, a tool and a location. And look at this. It's a snapshot, folks. Now, it, because of the green screen, y'all can't exactly see it. But we're trying to find out. So this person has the taser. And now we look on the map. We're trying to find out on the map where this picture was taken. You can tell that there is the swing like in the middle there and also a pirate um, ride. So they would have had to have been taking that from the roller coaster. Because if you're doing like selfie style, yep. you could see the, um, the thing. I think that's a free fall. Yeah, like a free fall thing, yeah. Right there. In the middle of the park where that big tower is. Tall tower. Yeah. Yeah. And then so there yeah. was there was a little like pirate flag in there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh no. They're off it over here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a pirate flag. Uh, there is the free fall ride in the middle, and there's right next to the llama. So we know now that the taser was used at the oh, where did we take it from? The roller coaster? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the taser has been used with the roller coaster. So on my sheet, I'm just going to place a little X or a plus sign that I know the taser has been used at the roller coaster. And based on our clues before, the taser was not used on the 8th, therefore we can eliminate the roller coaster on the 8th, correct? Yeah. All yes, right. sir. Cool. How are we doing on chat? Any questions in chat? I can't see it from here. Um, Slackfish agrees with me. Slackfish. <laughs> That's important to note. <laughs> Slackfish knows all things about games, friends. Um, by the way, a game that uses selfie logic to help solve mysteries, <laughs> right? It gives them a diff little different perspective. That's right. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was my turn. We're back to Michelle. Oh, oh, I was looking at the chat. Okay, <laughs> um, let's do this one. Okay. Okay, so it's a suspect clue. Okay. And it is going to be a um, suspect or a perpetrator and a date. Oh, this is cool. This is the show tickets, folks. So, back on our schedule here, there are one, there's a bunch of tickets there. You can see the art there. These have been ripped up by our perpetrator. In this case, it is Olivia. She has these, these three pieces uh, on her. She has been found with these three tickets. So the first one, let's take a look at that. Uh, what is this one here? Is that the... It's the lizard. It's the second one on the left. Second, second one on the Second down left. from the left. Okay. So we know now that the lizard... Olivia was there on the 5th and the 8th. Okay. Yeah. So she has tickets for the 5th and 8th. But we have to process elimination. We have to get all these tickets and find out exactly when she was there. So, the next one is, so we have the lizard. What's the second one there? Is that the... I can't tell from yeah. there. Can we... Uh, Does it show up better if you do it just like that? Yeah. There you go. Well, I think the bottom one is the ghost llama. Oh, yeah, the ghost llama. On the one, two, three, four. On the right, the fourth one down. Yep. Okay. So, that so, there's is the ghost llama. The fifth, sixth... Yeah, okay, just the fifth and the sixth. Fifth Olivia and the sixth. was there. Okay. And finally, the third one there, that looks like. Can't tell. Can I see? Uh, that looks like. Oh, is that the maracas? Yeah, the, the llama with the maracas. That also sounds like a delightful game. <laughs> right? Maraca llamas. <laughs> 
that it? What was the game we were playing the other day with the polyominoes? I said um, oh. polylominoes. Polylominoes. So. Okay, Haba request. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming up with a lot of great names for Haba games, so <laughs> we would love it if we could do that. We got polylominoes. We have Maraca Lama. <laughs> so the All Maracas the okay. <laughs> were on the fifth and sixth. Fifth. And six. Woohoo! Okay. So just by looking at the tickets, folks, we now know that Olivia was there on the fifth because all three tickets point to the fifth. We could circle her on the uh, first day, their first crime on uh, May 5th. But does that mean that for sure that Gonzo was not there? Yes. Because okay. only one uh, perpetrator per scene. Okay. So Woo-hoo. Gonzo and Jennifer. So we know for sure that Olivia was on the first uh, crime scene. Okay. Okay. And here's all the cards. And Lauren. Um, let me get this number two. Okay. So Lauren is looking at this one here. This is a witness statement. Uh, perpetrator and location says... No balloons were sold next to the crime scene of Olivia. Darn it. So let's look back at the map. We're trying to find no balloons were sold next to the crime scene. Okay, so on the right, like just above the red and white tent, there are balloons. Ah, okay, okay yeah. So we can eliminate the log, the log ride. ride Okay. on the first crime scene. Correct. Oh. Yeah, so... We know that there are no balloons next to Log Ride, so we cross that out on scene number one. <clears throat> are there balloons anywhere else? There are balloons at... Feeling I, like I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> I yeah. probably should have started with that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's the only uh, section with balloons. Yeah. Okay. So we have narrowed it down a little bit. Um, there are no balloons at the site where Ape... Or a... <laughs> <laughs> I always want to call her April. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's her middle name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no balloons were sold next to the crime scene of um, Olivia. Okay. So Olivia could still have um, done her crime at the roller coaster and bumper cars. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so is it my turn? Yes. Yes. Okay. Why don't we look at, if y'all could check out chat while I look for a card. Okay. So Hobby Games is taking notes. All right. So, so Polly Lama knows. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, friends, you'll notice that some of the cards don't have yellow on them. Uh, for instance, this one. Uh, so that's for, uh, since there's no yellow here, if you draw, drew that, it would not help you with the case. It actually slow you down and it costs you points. So you don't want to do that. So just oh. ignore those, the ones without the yellow. So obviously I'm not going to choose this one here. Or whatever. So Hobby Games says, yes, this game... Um, the crimes are sabotages. The advanced one is murders. Ooh. We'll have another one coming this summer about theft. Nice. Ah. It's good to showcase a variety of crimes. <laughs> That's <laughs> sluggish. It's just to keep the people informed yes. and be aware. <laughs> Especially at Llama Land. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try. Uh, I want to show off this one to everyone at home. Uh, this is going to be a lab um, card. So it's a shoe print. And it's going to talk about a perpetrator and a scene. And if you'll see here, we have the log ride. And there's going to be a shoe print. And what you do is take the mirror, folks. And you're going to place the mirror here. Okay. And then based on your perpetrators, you're going to match up the shoe, the shoe prints. There's exactly one shoe print that matches, and then the other two are not, or don't match, so that means they're not there. What's up? So, uh, <coughs> Sid Dane says, Hobba Games does not endorse the cool crime of stealing. <coughs> uh, Beyond Dead says, waiting for moving violations. <laughs> and Hobba says, unpaid parking tickets is fall 2022. <laughs> I love it got to be fair to all the crimes. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at uh, the shoe here, and let's see. It looks like Gonzo was okay. I mean, it matches Gonzo, so that means he might have been there. Let me check Olivia's. Uh, their shoe print is... Is that the same? I feel like that's different. 
one, two. Okay, There's that so is many different. Subtle subtleties. Yeah, this is. I like this part. This this gets you thinking of, or looking at these things here. And um, when we were closely. playing this, we had to kind of like figure out. Okay, do we put the mirror on the card or on our on our little clue book? So yeah, that took a little playing around. Yeah, <laughs> it was out. fun. Okay, let me see. This is okay. So the shoes that did not match were Gonzo and Olivia. <laughs> Slackfish. New catchphrase. We give equal time to all the crime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the shoe was Jennifer at the um, <laughs> log ride. So Jennifer, oh, log ride. Okay, so Jennifer is just connected to the log ride? Correct. Okay. So Jennifer is the log ride. So you just make that a little note there. I connect them with arrows. Yeah. Yeah, whatever works. I was trying to figure out the best way to keep track of all the things. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to be the, the thing that helped a lot. Yeah. Okay. So as long as they stay away from white color crime like overdue library books. <laughs> that's Volpez 484. <laughs> Nice. That's right. That's well, you know. Then I, I guess we're not keeping it equal. <laughs> you know. Okay. okay. So we've got um, a bunch of clues with locations, some with people. We've got the date. So we definitely know Olivia is on the fifth of May, and it's not um, the log ride. Okay. So it's my turn to choose. So I think I'm going to choose this one because um, it has the suspect and location. Okay. And that's a two pointer. It's a witness statement. So we're just going to. Um, it's a witness statement, so it's just going to be text. Okay, Gonzo either sabotaged the roller coaster or the bumper cars. So, Gonzo. Okay. So, Gonzo roller coaster or bumper cars. Mm -hmm. So, the neat freak in me is like... Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. I had to get over that very quickly. Um, okay, so on May 8th then, because we said the roller coaster was not um, one of the locations of sabotage. Yep. So, oh, we still can't eliminate him though, because it could have been the bumper cars as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, well, all right. Cool, cool, okay. cool. Um... Maybe I will go with, I want a solid three-pointer. Okay. And again, there's, there might be clues buried underneath. There's a, a lot of cards here, which is really, <laughs> really fun. Oh, well, just like a real just... scene, you know? You just yeah. kind of have things thrown out there. And yeah. You just kind of have to... You have to be a detective. Uh, yeah, and... yeah, and put the clues together. Yeah. So this is an interesting one. Lauren has chosen a witness statement for... Uh, scene number three with a perpetrator. So we're going to really narrow this down, hopefully. A person with a visible tattoo sabotaged on May 8th. Darn it! Yeah, so... Okay, so we know who it is. And do we? No, she, no. Yeah, on May 8th. Oh, just kidding, I forgot. Uh, Gonzo's got a tattoo yeah. right above his eye. Yeah, so Gonzo's got ta a visible tattoo um, above the eye and on his chest uh, or neck. And then... Jennifer also has visible tattoos. So this really didn't help, unfortunately. Uh, we had that information already. Man. Yeah. Because we we already eliminated Olivia. Okay. Yeah. Let's well, it's just see. Jen. She's, you know, she's got tats right here, like all kind of like a necklace. <laughs> right. Okay. Why don't we look at, um, this is day one scene now. Uh, Michelle, could, uh, I'll have you look at the top right corner there. There's some. I see some yellow clues up okay, there. Here's the yellow. For it's day three. Day no. three, no. Let's try to get something else, if, if possible. Okay. Um, this one? No. Is there anything with weapons? Let's look at, uh, I mean, this is, tools. Uh, this tool. is a tool. Okay. All right. So this is a clue with a tool and a location. Okay. It's a snapshot. We have... Um, the perpetrator with a knife and let's take a look at the map again we're trying to find the spot there where there is a ferris wheel and a roller coaster ferris can wheel. i put it here again yep it's just so hard for me to see when 
the the green screen messes with it. Okay. That's kind of hard to focus. Okay, so. Okay. I'll go ahead and just uh, take a look. I'm gonna put the map there. So. Okay, they are near the bumper cars. Yep. Where that light post is. Yep. Okay, so bumper cars and what was it, knife? Yeah. Okay. okay. So bumper cars and knife are related. I have so many lines. Bumper cars and knife. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little messier than the ones we did before. Right, and then Michelle, if you would like to start oh. a clue. Um, I'm thinking this one. Okay. So on the third day, I, just, I really want to know if it's Gonzo <laughs> or Jan. Oh. Okay, and this one is another witness statement, uh, event number three, and it says no ice cream was sold next to the crime scene on the 8th. Ice cream. So, so let's take a look at the map, and no ice cream. So let's see. Toward the upper left, between the Ferris wheel and Ghost Town. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, the little ice cream place. But there is also a little place up by up in the front uh -huh. by the red and white tent. But it, okay, no, you know what? That's French fries. Oh, French fries. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So next to Ghost Town, in that upper left corner, folks, that's the ice cream shop. So no ice cream was sold next to it. So that's next to the bumper cars. Okay, so on the 8th, it had to be either the roller coaster or... no. Oh, and it's not the roller coaster because we eliminated that. Yep. So it, had to, it has to be the log ride. There it is. And that also gives us our suspect. Okay, yes. Okay, so log ride, Jennifer. Jenny from the back. And it also gives us <laughs> <laughs> it also gives us our weapon, right? Yeah. Because we know the knife is used for a roller or the bumper cars, but that's been eliminated. So Jenny from the block with the pliers and the log ride, <gasps> right? Yeah. Yes. And you know what? What? Now that we've confirmed Jenny from the block for crime three uh -huh. and Olivia for crime one. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Gonzo is number two. Okay. And we have um, put the log ride on day th uh, scene three so we could eliminate the log ride for days one and two. I right? have to clean up my little thing here because yeah. it's messing me up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. What did you say, Rowan? Um, the, uh, the log ride was uh, scene three, so uh, of course so, that can't be one or two. Okay. Okay. And the pliers were for scene three, so that can't be in two yep. or in one. Mm -hmm. Okay. i got to clean up some of these marks. It's making me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, folks, as you can see, slowly but surely, how I'll show you out my board how, what it looks like right now. So this is what my board's looking like right now. I've got a bunch of circles and X's, but we've solved so far X scene three. We've got two more scenes to, to go. Um, we're getting closer. Okay, so I'm just going to cross out the ones that are not possibilities. Okay. Okay, so on scene one, the uh -huh. only thing we have crossed out as far as um, tools is the pliers, correct? Correct. Yeah. Oh, that's the only thing we have crossed out, yeah. period. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have our suspects in order for all three days. We just need weapon and um, location. location. So that's part of the game, folks. As you know, you get deeper in the investigation, you can start uh, focusing in on the clues that you're looking for. Uh, so Lauren, could you find a uh, like? Could you find a clue for weapon and or location? Yeah. Um... And this is I. I feel like. Um, you know, you can start with the fours early, and then you start, you know, drilling down to the twos, I guess. Weapon. Or threes. Weapon. Okay. Weapon and location, yeah. Weapon location. <laughs> Lauren's choosing a four. Oops. 
It's another snapshot. Okay. And this is going to be the llama. It's looking back. There's a, You can't see it because I, I didn't set the uh, green screen here. But there is a cactus. And um, you can see the, or I think it's um, the roller coaster. Or no, the log ride in the background. And the pirate ship. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Poor J-Lo being dragged through amusement park treachery mud. <laughs> <laughs> Can remote players join like over Zoom? Who do you think that would be? I feel like they could, right? As long as you're sharing stuff like this. like you, If you're going to play cooperatively, yes. I feel like you could. Competitively, no. Because uh, if you're playing competitively, we're not sharing information like this. Everyone has their own cards and they're marking their own boards. But cooperatively, I don't see why not, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have the knife at this location, okay, so which I think we already we already concluded that the uh, the taser was with the um, roller coaster. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that means so the, knife. the knife. Wait. Does that make sense though? Okay. So you see the log right in the background. Yeah. Oh, Just like never mind. To yeah. the far right. Yeah, and then you have the pirate ship as well. So you're at the roller coaster looking towards the pirate ship and the um, log ride. Or, wait, no, I think you're further up. I think you're at that same lamp post uh -huh. in the upper left. Oh, by the bumper cars? Yeah, because yeah. you're looking at the back of the cactus with sunglasses. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, very good, Lauren. Nice. Wow, that's what you went to college. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, that we already had that information earlier. We had the knife and the um, bumper car, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're still trying to figure out exactly where it happened, um, like, who did it. I mean, we have the who did it. We just need the where now. Um, what can we do here? What's a good clue? Location tool. Location or tool. Okay. Here's location tool, but it doesn't have a yellow. So this we can't use this clue. Or we could, but that would just throw us off the scent or the did you, mess us up. Did you already talk about the location of the colors on the card? Oh, yeah, that's a great point. Thanks, uh, Michelle. So, as Michelle said, this, the cards here, um, I have colorblind issues, but thankfully, each card, if I need to know the yellow, I know it's always going to be in this space on the card. It's going to be left in the oh. middle, and then the other colors are always going to be there. So, it's not just randomly thrown out. It's They are in a pattern here. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. So now we have, I'm going to choose this one. This is for day two. It's a weapon. So we're going to find exactly what day two. Folks, the taser was not used on the sixth. So we know that the taser was related to the roller coaster. Yep. So we can eliminate both of those. So the taser and the roller coaster. Taser and roller coaster. Woohoo! Look at that. Okay. Oh, oh, we solved the second one. And the first yeah. through process elimination. Okay, so taser was here. Okay, I have to like clean this up. Because yep. again, this is making me crazy. I love these dry erase boards. <laughs> I know, these are great. So well, let me uh, show our friends at home. This is what my little briefcase looks like, all my scribble scrabble. But we do have all of them. I believe we have all of them solved. We're going to find out real soon. So... So let me, uh, so there's the player board, folks. Now we go to, since we've solved, this is also on your little briefcase here. I'll bring a little closer view of it right there. We're going to solve the case. So what we're doing is, oops, we're going to take all the information we have on our briefcase and transpose it onto that little side um, part of the shield Player shield, and we're going to find the three-digit code. Um, so let's take a look at the um, perpetrators. We have Olivia on number one, May 5th, and then we have Gonzo on May 6th, and then we have Jennifer, Jenny on the block, <laughs> on May 8th. Okay, so we're going to find those in order on our little player board here. And it looks like that would be the one with the three? Three, yeah. Okay. So if you see that on the perpetrators, the left side, folks, you find the people in the order that they are in, and that's the number three. Now we go to the weapon. That's in the middle column. 
We're going to find the weapons. It is, um, Lauren, what are the weapons for the case? Uh, taser, knife, pliers. Okay, and that number is? Four. All right, so we've got a three and a four. And then Michelle, for the locations, what? Uh, and that's the third comment on the right, folks. Okay, so we've got um, the roller coaster, bumper cars, then log ride. And that would be number? Uh, roller coaster, roller Bumper cars log grade one. Number one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So now we have, hopefully we saw the crime. Um, I'm going to grab this here. Excuse me. This is the answer board. We need to find a 3-4-1 there. Is there a 3-4-1? I sure hope so. I it's know. It's like taking a, a multiple choice test and you're like, <laughs> okay, my answer is not on there. <laughs> yes. Okay. So... Okay, so there's the 341, and we're going to insert the yellow key. And then, Lauren, will you hold the key and flip it around? Yeah. And if it's a yellow spot, we have solved the case. Yay! Yay! Take that, baddies. <laughs> <laughs> so we have cracked the case for the um, sabotage at Lucky Llama Land. So we can, uh, let me get this out of the way here. So that's the first case, folks. Well, there's a bunch of cases here, and it's totally replayable. Um, now, now for the bad news. we <laughs> You're going to look at how many cards we use to solve this case. <laughs> yeah, now the, again, this, you know, it's our first time uh, playing. So you're going to add all these points here, right? And this is what's neat about the solo game. You can play the solo, and you're going to add the points, and it's going to give you a ranking. Uh, based on our play last night, this, I don't think we're going to be... <laughs> does it feel thick? It does feel thick. <laughs> okay, so we've got 10 points there. And I'm just adding the um, the cards, the, the corners of the cards here. We've got a, another 10 there, Lauren. So that's 20. Uh -oh. That's 30. Uh -oh. That's 35. And unfortunately, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Really bad. <laughs> 30, 35 is just over the threshold of 34. And it says, unfortunately, you failed the investigator's test. Why don't you try again? Does it say keep your day job? <laughs> it, it should say keep your day job. But hey, we've got some time left. Why don't we go through another game? Let's do yeah. the black case this time. Okay. So what we do, we just erase our boards, folks, and we're going to try it again. Again, um, you can totally replay this. Uh, I'm going to shuffle these cards here. It's totally replayable. There are a bunch of different keys, and then... Even if you play the same case again, it's still going to be different, like the different clues and stuff. So there is the black key. We're playing Ooh. for the black clues now. So now the um, cards that have black is what we're trying to look for. Okay. Uh, where did my pen go? I lost my, I got a uh, case of the missing pen. I lost mine, so I stole yours. Okay, and I just found it. Oh, one. no, I found mine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Good job, Lauren. <laughs> So that was the second case. <laughs> so the perpetrator was Lauren. The location was right in front of her. And the tool was the pen. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, any questions in chat? Though? What is the official name of the um, the game? Uh, have... the key, it's called The Key. It's a series of games called oh. uh, The Key. This one is Sabotage at Lucky Lava Land. And how many cases are there? And uh, this one, there are... There are oh, I, I Papa believe, Games answered nine okay. in the box. Awesome, yeah, nine in the box. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're going to do the black... Um, mm -hmm. I think we have enough time for that. Yeah, we got about 20 minutes. So as you can see, folks, this game, it's a really fun deduction game. Quick, family-friendly, and we're going to jump right back into it. We need to crack the case of who's messing with Lucky Llama Land. You know, it is totally family-friendly, even for the younger ones, because there's not a lot of text. Yeah. Yeah, totally, right? Um, I mean, except for the witness statements, but everything else is pretty much, you know, you're trying to match up clues with the items and um, so forth. Yeah. Use the map and all the... I, I love the map. I mean, I, I want to go to Lucky Llama Land. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you will not be unlucky and get on one of these sabotage rides. Right, and that's uh -oh. why it's up to us to solve, solve the case. Solve the crime! Okay, okay. Michelle, let's uh, go ahead and we're looking for the black clues. Okay, this the term. black okay. clues. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. So right off the bat, Michelle's going with a four. Uh, it's going to be perpetrator and date. Okay, we got the show tickets. Oh. This is um, Olivia. And every time I say it's Olivia, I think of your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren's got a good name, friend named Olivia. Shout out to Olivia if she's watching. And Olivia, I hope you're not committing crimes. <laughs> 
Uh, we have, um, is that the ghost llama? The one on the bottom, yes. Okay, so let's bring up our schedule here. So, ghost llama is May 5th and May 6th. And that's Olivia. And then the next one, uh, we'll look at this one here. That looks like our friend, the, um, is that the Maraca? Yeah, the Maraca Llama. Are you sure? Yeah, because it's like a, that curved arm and he should be like his left arm, the Maraca. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's May 5th and May 8th. Are you sure? I don't know. Let me take a look. No, 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 no. No, yeah, yeah it's curved. Okay. Because there's another thing, the one at the bottom left. Oh, it yeah. It kind of has the same shape, but it it doesn't have like a curved... The curl, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, that was what? May, May 5th and May 8th. May 5th and May 8th. And then the final one is our friend the gecko or the lizard. Um, so that is May 5th and May 8th as well. Uh-huh. So, we know that Olivia, not Lauren's friend, <laughs> <laughs> was uh, had tickets on May 5th. You know, she was busy on May 5th because, you so. know, on the last one, she also committed the crime on that date. Okay. So, eliminate Olivia on the 6th, 6th and the 8th. And the 8th. All right. Okay. Good job, Lauren. Way to... Well, at least it's not your friend. Um, <laughs> what should we do next? Should we do one... Uh, I'll have you you all pick. As, uh, I'll just, you know... I said we're looking for Black. black. Okay. Um, well, here's something for the second crime scene. Yeah. The third crime scene. Yeah, let's do the second one. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Beyond Dead said, must have had a really bad day. <laughs> Olivia is a busy woman. <laughs> Especially on the fifth. <laughs> here's the witness statement for number two. The log ride was not sabotaged on the sixth. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, why don't we do... That one right there with the three, day three, it's... This one? Oh, with this the, one. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at crime number three with the weapon. The tool was longer than 22 centimeters on May 8th. So... Um, it was not the pliers on the 8th. Not the pliers on the 8th. Okay. And we might have to play a little bit of a speed round. Oh, yeah. We're getting close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, coming up, folks. After this, we're gonna we're gonna shoot it on over to our friends uh, from Hyper. They're gonna show some new games from the Ops. So stick around. Um, we'll see if we get through this case. Maybe it's a case that we may have to do um, on another day. But at least you see the game. Thank you again for joining us, folks. This is Gen Con Spring Showcase. Uh, my name is Ruel Gabriel. I'm here with my family, Michelle and Lauren. We're so happy to be solving cases with, with y'all. And um, um, Tabletop Bellhop is asking, can you summarize what would be different if playing competitively? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, let, me, let me get to in just a second, Bellhop. This, the tool was longer than 22 centimeters on the 8th. So that means it is not where I'm mean, the... It could not be pliers. the pliers. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Michelle, I'll have you draw oh. another clue. So competitively, what would, it would be a real-time game, uh, Tabletop Bellhop. We would all be grabbing cards from the middle and solving on our own. So um, what we're doing together as a group now, we would just be doing ourselves by ourselves um, and then trying to come up with the, uh, the answer by ourselves. So Lauren, uh, Michelle has chosen this clue. It is perpetrator and location. Uh, we've got shoes um, at the bumper cars. Footprints at the bumper cars. Yeah, so let me take a look at that. Do you mind if I do this? Or Go do you want it. Okay. And? And the winner is the first to solve. And what if they get it wrong? If they get it wrong, uh, they uh, pass on to... Uh, that's a great question. Here, do, they, do they keep going? If you get it wrong. And here, let me... I'll do, okay. No, I'll do the... Okay, cool, cool, thing. cool. So if the player gets it wrong... Shame. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If uh, there's anyone else that has a code, they get to go. Um, well, like, do they just stop? If the next player came up with a different number code, they may need to check the solution. Check that you only use a code. You may need to draw. Who's the title? Let's see. Each player adds up investigative points. Um, if they are wrong, 
yeah, I think they just, they don't win. They just cry. <laughs> yeah. And then the other players can continue and, um, different. yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, is, can Haba give us an answer from that? Did Haba answer that one? Uh, you play until everyone solves. Oh, okay, cool. And gets to check to see who got it correct. Yep. Thank you. Yes, so shame is the alternate route. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think um, it's Jennifer. Okay. Okay, so... It's the one that matches. Jennifer at the bumper cars. Okay, so we know our our friend Jen is connected to the bumper cars. Okay, Lauren. Um, Can we solve this, folks? We'll see. You have five minutes. This one. Okay. We got the two card here. Location, perpetrator. Jen did not sabotage the attraction near the swing boat. What's the attraction? Read it in French. Is the swing boat the banana? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's the log ride. Oh, we already know that she yeah. is connected to Darn the... it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the unfortunate thing sometimes. You're going to run into clues that, you know... Uh, you already know. So let's get another black clue. Oh, how about uh, day number one? That's the black clue right there. Mm -hmm. Day number one, or I mean crime number one, though. The pliers were not used on the fifth. Okay. Oh. Okay. So they were used on the sixth. They were used on the sixth because we eliminated the other one. Okay, that helps. And oh, it's my turn? Yep. Um, I'm just going to take this one because it's in front of me. Okay, so day three. Let's look at another weapon. Ho, ho, uh -huh, ho. The knife will not use there. You're welcome. All right, so we now have the knife not used there. So that means it's the taser on day three. Okay, and Lauren? Uh, so that means the knife was used on day one. Wait, don't we still... Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, because we don't have the taser on day two or day one. Yep. So we have our weapons, folks. Um, knife on day one, ta um, pliers. pliers on two, and taser on three. So we really want to know location. Yeah, so let's one. go ahead and grab a location if you can, Lauren. Oh, uh, that one doesn't have... Yeah, we need the black. One. Clues. Is this location on one? Yep. All right, let's do another witness statement, folks, coming up. When sitting here, you can see two crime scenes. One was the crime scene on the 5th. And you look on the map. Oops. And where are those little things there? Like, they look like, are they benches? Or they're part of the stadium, right? I don't really know what the card looks like. When sitting here, oh, that's, you can see two crime scenes. That's a pirate, pirate ship. ship. Yeah, oh. there's a little bench um, yep. just outside the pirate ship. There it is, folks. Attraction. The, so you're sitting there, and it says, when it's sitting here, you can see two crime scenes. One was the crime scene on the 5th. So you can see the log ride and the roller coaster. The roller the coaster would be behind you. <clears throat> oh, so maybe that's not it. No, because you cannot see. Uh, no, the roller coaster, you're right here. Oh, because you're not on the bench. You're in the in the attraction. Yes, you're. So in. if you're sitting on those benches, oh. then you can see out. Yep. So roller coaster or log ride on the fifth. Okay, so that eliminates the bumper cars on the fifth. Correct, and that eliminates Jennifer because Jennifer is connected to the bumper cars. Okay. okay. Didn't well, we already know that Olivia? Was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Jenny from the block is off the hook there. That's right. This might be our last clue. Is that what it says? Uh, How are we doing on time? Uh, 48. 48, okay. Well, we, we, we're going to go to 11. Uh, 10.50. Oh, 10.50, is that what they said? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad someone's paying attention. Okay, so we've got a couple of minutes here. Let's do one more clue, folks. And uh, Michelle, can you grab oh, a clue? Me. Yeah, we'll see if um, we can get here, and then we're just going to wrap things up. Black. I don't know. This is... Date and tool. Tool? No, 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 no. We don't want that one. No. Okay, so this one. Perpetrator. Yeah. Okay. So witness statement. Jenny was not in the park on the eighth. <gasps> okay. So Gonzo on the third. Jenny on the second one. 
with the bumper car. So we have everything solved except for location on one and three. Okay. Okay, but folks, you know what happens? It's a cliffhanger. So, <laughs> dun, dun, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Want to shout out everyone at Gen Con. Thank you for having us on here. We love playing uh, games. We love hobby games, and we really enjoy this. So, Lauren, this is your first time playing, right? Yes. What do you think? It was a lot of fun, <laughs> and it was also pretty easy to pick up. Yeah, and that's what I, I'm not a very good deduction um, uh, game, but... Uh, gamer, but I really like this because it is something you can totally play with the family. You play competitively or like we did cooperatively. You, you know, y'all can help me out as I try to figure <laughs> things out because I'm not good at figuring things out. Uh, but hey, this game is going to be available March 14th um, for $29.99, folks, uh, through Haba. It is a simultaneous deduction game. Um, it does have a solo variant, which is basically what we're playing today. Uh, more info can be found on Haba's site. And Stick around. Coming up next from the op, we got games from the op from our friends at Hyper. And if you need more, if you'd like more information on the Gen Con Spring Showcase happening all weekend, uh, go to the website GenConSpringShowcase.com and be sure to join the conversation on the Gen Con Discord. On behalf of Lauren and Michelle, I'd like to thank them for hanging out with me on a Saturday morning playing games. Folks, have a safe weekend. Be kind to each other and keep playing games. All right, bye everybody. Bye. bye.